might be easier to reintegrate Crimea into Ukraine than Donbass. The fact of war in Donbass, due to which the majority of the pro-Ukrainian population left the area, will complicate the reintegration of the deoccupied region into Ukraine. That's according to the chief of the Institute of Demography and Social Research, Ella Libanova, who spoke to Ukraine Form. I am convinced that Crimea and Donbass are different. It is much easier for us to manage Crimea. If the Russian military is removed from there, a high proportion of pro-Ukrainian people will remain there. Because when Crimea was annexed, there was no war there, and many people simply did not leave the area, despite their feelings. Another peculiarity of Crimea is that there are Crimean Tatars who are pro-Ukrainian, she said. Libanova noted that the situation of Donbass is fundamentally different. In particular, blood was spilled there and, formerly, there were no Russian troops there. At the same time, due to hostilities, the vast majority of pro-Ukrainian people left. According to the expert, Ukraine should prepare for the fact that the deoccupation of Donbass will cause opposition from those who have lived under Russian rule since 2014. This, in turn, will lead to the risk of a pro-Russian government emerging in local elections. I don't understand how we can organize local or non-local elections there. I am most concerned about local elections. Will we get a pro-Russian government there? As Europeans of the 21st century, we cannot, as in the Sudetenland, put the Germans on a train and let them go on their own. So there is no specific recipe, at least that I'm aware of, argued Lebanova. The Russian Federation launched an invasion of Ukraine in 2014. Then, the aggressor managed to seize Crimea, as well as part of the Donetsk and Luhansk regions, including the regional centers.